You're not worried about what's going to happen in the world. Your worry down deep is because you can't control it. You thought you had, you want to know what's going to happen because it gives you a sense of control. So you can navigate in this. So you see, you got to get really honest with yourself and really look. Most people are not even worried. They're not even aware of it. And it's so unconscious. It's so much, so deeply rooted into our awareness, consciousness, the fear, and the control. Because you want to control. I'm really worried about my kids. No, you're not worried about your kids. That's not the number one thing. You are worried about you. Because something happens to your kids, you're worried that you're going to suffer. Not because they died. That's because you're suffering. Your quality of life's going to change. And you're going to mourn. It's you who you're worried about. But that you you're worried about doesn't have any control. can't control things. But you know, I just like things to go back to normal. Yeah, you like it to go back to normal because you had an idea, you thought you knew what's gonna happen. And now you don't have a clue what's gonna happen. But you didn't have a clue what was gonna happen then either. You thought you did. But you didn't, you didn't. But since it was monotone and it was on a system that you thought everything's going to be the same, like our conditioning, like look how you react when it comes to Christmas, before Christmas, like a robot. It's coming to the holidays, oh, holidays, Christmas lights, blah, 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 family dinner, blah, 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 blah. Oh, Easter, blah, 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 blah. it's a robot. So robot reacting to an input and there's an output. You're not thinking for yourself. Someone else is thinking for you. Because if you think for yourself, you may not do anything of the, any of this stuff. If we thought for ourselves, you would never go to the church and confess. Confession to the priest for your sins. What kind of stupid thing is that? If you're going to think, okay, you got this mind and all right, since you got this mind, if you can't stop it, at least use it. Can you think for yourself? Can you use the brain? At least you got it, right? And you say, I can't stop it. Okay, at least use it, do something with it. Would you, do you have to believe whatever they write in the newspaper and they tell you in TV, can you use your mind that they're lying to you or they're bullshitting or they made up a story or there's nothing? Can you use it? Put two and two together and come to some conclusions? Can you use your mind to think that why am I afraid? Because I may die, why am I afraid of death? Uh, I don't know. What's going to happen if you die? Uh, I heard this story of I go into a dark abyss. I mean, what's going to happen to you? Why are you so afraid of death? So you can be so controlled easily. But why am I celebrating Christmas? Why am I celebrating this day? 
Why when somebody dies, I have to wear black? Why don't I wear white? To cheer up everyone else. Why do I have to do everything everyone else does? Why do I have to get married and have kids? Why do I have to do all these things other people do? Can you use your mind and question things, please? Since you've got this mind. Or are you just going to be a robot? Oh, it's very depressed. It's so depressing. Ah, every time I talk to my family, they're worried, they're depressed. The world is in chaos. The world's gonna end. Everything's bad. Everything's dark. Zarathustra, you're too loose, you're too renegade. It's going to catch up with you. Cool. When it catch, catches up with me, I'm just going to have to deal with it. But i rather die once than die every day. But look at, pay attention. You're dying every day. Every time you turn on the TV and watch COVID news, you die. Die one time, don't die every day. But until you die, live your life in here and now. Live it now, in this moment. Be here, don't be somewhere else. Here. And check out here, see what's here. Maybe you discover something you never knew it exists. Magic of life is happening here. Candace, I, <laughs> I didn't go to the subject you asked me to talk about. It just went in another direction and that is a part of the script. Something else was written. So, Mr. Amir, I have to give you a different topic. I don't know if you're there or you're listening, but I have to change. So, what should we change the topic of this week to? Anybody can tell me what I was talking about? Someone? Can someone unmute yourself and tell me what I was talking about? What, what's, what, what was the topic of the day? I want to know if you've been listening or not. Did I hypnotize you or put you to sleep? Be, being in the moment, being here now. Who is this? Who's Candace. Hi, Candace. Hi. So, so what are we going to say? That's what you were talking about, right? Being present. Yeah, the magic of the moment. Yeah, there you go. Okay, we're gonna call it that. <laughs> Amir, are you there? All right, so later on I have to say the topic of the day is what time is it? What is one hour and 18 minutes. Yeah, the topic of the day is the magic of the moment. So we're gonna have to put that, edit it. I want to <laughs> see, this is what happens when you're in a moment because, and you don't have an agenda. I sincerely was gonna talk about the script, but then I opened my mouth and something else happens. So what I'm talking about is life is happening spontaneously. You may have an agenda in life that you need to get to here and do that, but then existence has its own agenda. And since life is bigger than you and I, 
you end up doing what life wants you to do. 